Hey guys, this is Grishard from twitch.tv slash Grishard, bringing you some knowledge base information. Let's get to it! Alright, so today we are going to talk about how to install mods on your Minecraft server. Keep in mind that this is specifically geared towards Aklas, so the first part's going to be about that, but this method will work for any server host. It doesn't have to just be Aklas. So first what you're going to do is you're going to open your command panel, and on the right hand side you're going to see Manage. Go ahead and click on that on whatever server you're going to put mods onto. And then you're going to see this screen. Now at the very top, click Show FTP. Now you're going to want your FTP host, your username, and your password. If you don't know your password, click on Change to go to the bottom and change it to something you do know. Now we're going to open FileZilla. There's a link below in the description if you don't have FileZilla already. It'll look something like this when you first open it. Click in the top left-hand corner, as indicated, and it's going to bring up your Site Manager screen. Now. If you haven't already connected to your server via FTP before, this is probably going to be blank. So go ahead and click New Site and add your host, username, and password from the previous screen here. And then click Connect at the bottom. Now that'll bring up your, depending on your host, if you're on Aklas, depending on how you set up your server, it'll bring up something like this. It'll bring up your root folder. So go ahead and double click on that. And then you should have a bunch of folders in here already. This is one of my servers, so it's already got a bunch of like 16.5 stuff in it. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and double click on your mods folder there. This is the folder we care about. It might be empty, it might already have some mods in it. It just depends on if you've already added mods to your server or not. Now, we know where to put the mods, so now we have to go get the mods. So go over to CurseForge. There's a link again in the description. We're gonna use my one of my favorites, it's Thermal Expansion. It's widely used, just about everybody knows about it. It's a really good example. So we're going to use this. So the first thing we have to do is we have to see what the relations are. So right here at the very end, click Relations, and it's going to bring up this screen. If this screen is empty, it's totally fine. Doesn't necessarily need to be anything here. But see how it says it has a dependency of Thermal Foundation? That means Thermal Expansion will not load and will probably cause your server to crash if you try to turn it on without Thermal Foundation. So you have to go to Thermal Foundation and see what its dependencies are. And you have to get those and you have to keep going until you have all the dependencies and Thermal Expansion. So for example, with this, Thermal Foundation needs COFH Core, so you'll have to go get that and Thermal Foundation to use Thermal Expansion. So then come back to your main page and click on Files up in the top left hand corner. Now, what version of Minecraft is your server? You have to use the same version, sometimes very limitedly, but sometimes slightly older, like one or two decimal places older, like a lot of 16.3 and 4 stuff worked on 16.5. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Usually you can click on it, and it'll say what game versions, like see how it says plus 2 on a lot of these, that means it works on more than one game version. What we're going to do is on the middle right hand side, we're going to click view all. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring all the versions, so then we're going to click game version in the top right hand corner, and it's going to bring up a list. So whatever list your Minecraft server is, you want to click on that. And what that will do is it will only show you files that are for that. So you know for sure you will get one appropriate. Maybe you want an older version. Maybe they took out something you liked or added something you didn't like or changed something. So some versions like Thermal Expansion has sometimes dozens of versions for the same version of Minecraft. So you just have to find, usually you want the most recent one, sometimes people like older ones. So once you picked out the one you have, we're gonna use this one, uh, you go to this page, and again at the bottom, see how it says required dependency? Make sure you have the dependencies for the same version. So we would need dependencies that work in Minecraft 1.18.2 for this one. Go ahead and click download. Your antivirus might say it's a virus. If it does, it's just because it's a jar file and they can be viruses. But if it's from CurseForge, they screen it and everything, and it's totally fine. So go ahead and click download. Make sure you download it someplace where you can find it. So we're going to go back over to the server. Now, notice how my server is all 1.16 stuff. This is not actually a 1.18 server. I'm just, you didn't want to make a new server for this example. But see how some of them are 1.16.x? That means it should work on anything on point, point 0.16. Some say 0.5, so it probably work, won't work on 0.4. But all of these, for example, work on 1.16.5 without problem. So sometimes you can use older versions, sometimes you can't. It's just really a toss-up. It depends on how much changed between that decimal version. And so what you're going to do 
is you're going to drag whatever you downloaded over to the right here and you're going to upload it into the mods folder and that's it you're done if your server doesn't start up for some reason you're probably missing a mod you can open your crash log and you get to that here so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the two dots at the top and that's going to take you up a level and then you are going to double click on your logs folder sort by last modified like see these are really old logs sort that so your last modified is at the top and you want to scroll to the very bottom of that log and it will give you a whole bunch of lines that don't make a whole lot of sense but one of them nearish the bottom should say something about some mod that either it was the wrong version or it was missing a dependency or it's a client side only mod from there you just kind of have to troubleshoot it yourself but this is how you get the mods to the server Thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Click here or here for some of my other videos. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.